and welcome to my new diamond painting channel. This is Cat's Diamond Painting. Um, I've decided to start this channel just because these are the kinds of videos I really enjoy watching on YouTube. Um, so I thought it would be fun to give it a go. Um, excuse my voice, I'm recovering from COVID, so I'm a little bit husky and I may cough. So for my first video, what I wanted to do today was do a post review of my most recent completed painting, which is Protégé. This is a round diamond painting by Diamond Art Club. And the artist is Dimitra Milan. So this is a legally licensed piece of art. Um, and as you can see, it's 56 centimeters by 66 centimeters. This painting had 60 colors. Um, and there were four ABs, so it's a really good one for people who like a lot of variety in their colours and, and shading. So, um, without further ado, here is the painting. Okay, so, just trying to get that fully in frame. As you can see, I'm quite new to this, so I'm just figuring out how to do this. Um, so I bought this painting in Diamond Art Club's Black Friday sale, uh, which means I did get a good discount on it. I think they were doing 35% off for paintings bought that day. So I think this cost me around £35 uh, for it to get from uh, Diamond Art Club over in the US over to me in the UK. We do pay a little more over here because there are import duties, that, tax, that kind of thing that gets added onto the price. But with Diamond Art Club, the price you pay at the till is it's the only price that you're going to pay. Um, so it, you can buy secure that you're not going to get hit with extra charges. Um, also, if you spend over £60 with Diamond Art Club, then you do get free shipping to the UK. So I bought two paintings to make it more economical overall. So this is the painting. Isn't she beautiful? I just really, really love Dimitra Milan's art. I have three pieces and I'm really hoping that they bring out some more. So what I particularly enjoyed in this painting, my favourite part was the fox. I just think that the rendering of the fox is so, so beautiful. Um, the shading is incredible. You may not be able to see, but um, up close, quite a lot of these pieces here, they're actually purples and blues. And when you're working up close, it looks a little strange, but when you step back, the effect is just gorgeous. Um, so what I particularly enjoyed other than that was the drill quality. People who are old timers to Diamond Art Club might be aware that they have recently changed their drills. They've started to manufacture their drills in house and they've both changed. Um, square drills, maybe the change is a little more obvious, but I really found these new round drills quite an eye opener as well. The old round drills were shinier. Um, and I believe that's something that some people aren't so happy about, that maybe some of the shine has been lost. Although, as you can see, there is still plenty of sparkle going on here. But the new drills have a kind of more matte topping because of the, the, the number of facets they, that they have on there now. And as someone who enjoys multi-placing, I found that that meant they really gripped a lot better to my pen. So I really enjoyed that. They were also very consistent. Um, I liked the fact that there were four ABs. Let's see if I can bring that in. So you've got four ABs at the top. So any DMC numbers under 150 are AB drills, which stands for Aurora Borealis drills. And it means that they've got an extra special little coating. I like using AB drills for accents, but I also really like when they're not overused. And I think that there was a really good balance in this painting. You've got lovely accents in the fox, in her face, and just scattered around the place, but they're not overdone. They add sparkle without making it too blingy, which isn't really my preference. 
And as I said before, there are 60 colours in this painting. Some of them there's only a few drills of, others obviously are used more extensively, but what that gives you is a lot of beautiful shading. It's supposed to represent blossom and petals, I think, if you look at the original artwork. One thing I wasn't so keen on in the rendering of this painting was her eye. So I'm just not quite sure what to make of this green section in here. I think that from a distance, it's just supposed to indicate a kind of sparkle in her eye. Um, I'm undecided. I may actually do something to switch that out because it, it just it draws my eye not in a good way. So we'll see about that. Um, so in terms of the quality of the painting, I had the lovely soft canvas that people who are used to Diamond Art Club might be already familiar with. It's a poor glue canvas, which means I'm, I'm not going to cause any issues bending it around like this. And the drill quality, as I said, was great. I did have quite a few trash drills. But a caveat to that is I am quite picky. I will pick off anything I don't like the look of. I don't like tabs. I especially don't like when there's little holes in the top. And there were with the new drills, more so compared to the old drills, I think more diamonds that had either a convex or a concave bottom. So by that, I mean either that the drill, uh, it would only stick around the edges and then there was kind of a bit missing in the middle at the back or that it was the other way around and the middle of the back kind of stuck out like it was rounded and those really didn't stick well to the canvas. I will say as well, looking at these, because it does look like quite a lot, that I'm clumsy. I drop drills as I'm working and often I will just stick those in this pot. So it's, it's not only trash. But also, at the end of the day, I had plenty of drills. I did not run out of any colours of drills. I think there's some that I was maybe a little worried about, like this AB drill here. There's not very many left. And there's others where there just really weren't that many of those drills in the painting in the first place. So, you know, there really weren't many by the time I was done. But others, I had plenty and plenty left over and I did not run out of any colours. One thing that was interesting was I had one colour here I don't think you'll be able to see, and I haven't come prepared with a drill tray. I'm trying to get it to focus. Sorry about that, that's a bit blurry. But what I had with this colour, 976, was a mixture of old and new drills. Um, and I did notice that there was a colour variation, which was interesting. It makes me think for those of us who keep our spare drills, that you might want to store old drills and new drills for a particular DMC colour separately. And that is about it. Um, as I say, I really, really, really enjoyed this painting. I'm normally someone who likes to switch it up. I get bored between paintings. Um, so I'll do a couple of rows of a painting and then I'll switch to one that's different. You know, I might switch between rounds and squares or, or just really different colorways or styles, but I did this one all in one go. Um, it took me two and a half weeks. I believe I started on January the 28th and I was a little slower in the middle there because I've had COVID and I haven't always felt like DPing as, as much as I might do. Um, so it was a pretty quick one. As you can see, particularly around the edges, there are large stretches of colour blocking. Not a huge fan of colour blocking, which is why I really appreciated being able to use my multi-placer. And there's also some sections that have a fair bit of confetti, but I feel like it was a really good mixture overall. So it was really enjoyable to do. I absolutely love the artwork and I look forward to doing more paintings from this artist. So there you go. That is my first video for this channel. I really hope you enjoyed it. I, I hope to put out more content such as post reviews and possibly some unboxings. 
I plan to open up some other things that I've got, like I've got some little bits of kit and accessories coming, and I'd also at some point like to do a painting, uh, a review of paintings that I've done so far. I started diamond painting in April 2021, or 2021, that was a weird way to say it. Um, and I've already done quite a few, but I think those kind of videos are really fascinating uh, when other creators do them. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope to see you again here soon. Bye.